everyone, this is Jeannie from Vintage Collectibles, and I had a very nice day today. Uh, met a new friend through live chats on the live sales. Uh, we discovered we live in the same state and not that far from each other. So uh, she asked if I wanted to meet up with her to go to an estate sale, and I'm like, well, yeah. And uh, so her name is Lynn Johnson, and so we met up today, went to a live, uh, I was going to say went to a live sale. <laughs> We went to an estate sale and we had a good time and uh, did a lot of talking. We had a whole hour to wait for our number to be called and uh, so we we just really enjoyed the day. So I have a small haul now. Um, I'm not able. I'm. Uh, I did not buy as big as as uh, she did. She has some awesome, awesome stuff. So if she does a haul video, which I don't, I don't know if she does or not. But if she does, you'll be in for a treat. That's for sure. But anyways, here's just a few things that I got that we may uh, have in an upcoming live sale. All right, I have an a umbrella. I don't think it's just any umbrella. This says the handle is made in Italy and it looks very dapper. And the, the, the wrapping is in excellent condition so far that I could tell. And unsnaps and of course the umbrella I'm not gonna open it but I'm gonna do comps on this to see what umbrellas you know go for or even if that is a thing I'm not quite sure but I liked it and for you know five dollars I thought well yes I'll take it because if it's not really a thing to sell you know online or I'll keep it for myself then, so I go, this was, that was stuck in the corner in the bedroom. Then I found this one in the garage, and it has a leather handle. But I do not see a sticker, uh, but it's in good condition other than this little wear mark here. It, it is a wear mark there. Other than that, it's in good condition, but it does not have... A wrapper on this one and it looks like it is tied a little bit down there so it I opened this one up in the garage and it does work I may keep this one and try to sell the other one that's from Italy so we'll see and this that one with the leather handle was I think uh, uh, three dollars okay and then I have a tray a beautiful Tray, I got it for two. Of course, you'll see the sticker. I didn't take the sticker off yet. And this one is something that I recently learned from um, other live sales is Dyer. I'll hold that still so you can see that. But there you go, Dyer, Deer, Dyer. Made in England. All right, so there's that. Have another beautiful tray. It's also made in England, and it says so right there. Oh, glare. Trying to get some light in the house. And it has sticker. Oh, goodness. Um, I'm not... I'm not very good at this. This says made in London, I think it says. Great Britain. That, that one feels pretty sturdy. I, ha I found a little teeny tiny snuff box. Uh, not box. Uh, tin can. And it says sweet, sweet snuff sweet as a peach i just thought that was cute quality snuff american since 1782 i got a story about snuff from when i was a little kid i was mowing my neighbors well not a neighbor but uh someone's yard uh to make some extra money as a kid so i was mowing and with a push mower and I, I felt a lot of things on my legs. And I thought I ran over like sand and pebbles and it was stinging me. 
No, it was yellow jackets. I ran over yellow jackets and I had seven bee stings on my leg, on both legs, like three on one, four on the other one. The old lady that I was mowing for, she, she wet some snuff and put it on my bee stings. And uh, so there you go. So wise tale, I guess, for bee sting is snuff. All right, I got these coffee and cake tea towels. So cute, they are so cute. This one is very soft and it's a little more dingy, dingier looking. This one has been used apparently or hung up and so it's, it's lived a life. This one is brand new, it feels brand new and stiff so it's been folded up and put away and I don't think it's been, been used at all. So they're this big. That's, and these, if you have a little window, they would be so cute with some clip rings on a little curtain rod and use it at a, at a window. Is one way you can use them. Now I have some coasters. We all know who likes coasters. Well, these, they, they make me think of mid-century modern. They're Japan. And they all just slip in like that. They're cork. And the sticker on the bottom says Woodcrest by Styson. Made in Japan. And these, these might be kept. They may not go in the cell. All right, here's a little Christmas tin. I'm sure you know what this holds. No surprise, but it's very pretty. Very pretty tin. They hold the long matches. They have the matches inside. Right there. When I lived in Arizona, all we used to heat by was a wood stove. And so uh, long matches was handy for that. It was very nice. All right, I have one of these. It's a ruler that comes out like that. Very manly kind of thing to have. Or if you wanna decorate your sewing room or your man cave. Very nice. And it says made in USA. There's a mark there. I think that's the only mark I remember seeing. I got that for $3. Today was the first day. So Saturday, I think I'm gonna go back if I can. This little thing I'm taking a chance on, I'm not quite sure if it will be a thing or not, but it's in its original box and it's a pen tool set. Of course, these little things is uh, coming down off of the little slotted places. I'll have to fix it later. But I thought I'd give it a try, run some humps on it, see if someone does these things as a hobby. I know there are people out there that makes pins out of beautiful uh, hardwood. All right, this is very cute. It is penguins. It's a scarf. I haven't taken time to really measure anything. But it's so cute, these little penguins in the colors. The colors make it easy to adapt for uh, Christmas if you if you like. And I do believe this is hand rolled. So that means I think better quality it's not machine stitch. I'm trying to make sure I have to see. So I think this is hand rolled. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. 
this I got for myself is it's a little heavy. It's, port, it's a hummingbird. And uh, I'll put some pictures on it. I don't really do a lot of knickknacks because right now this house that I moved into, we downsize quite a bit. Trust me, quite a bit. So I don't have a lot of places for my knickknacks. So I've actually gotten rid of a lot before I started doing this. But now I'm going to go from room to room and see about adding shelves. Like my dining room wall here is boring, it's plain, it's nothing. Nothing's there. But it's like an empty canvas. So I'm gonna get a I'm gonna put a high shelf up here and then decorate with plates or I don't know, something after I, I paint and and do things. Maybe y'all can give me suggestions. Alright. I Mother Goose book. Lynn saw this and thought I might ask if I would like it. It's it's not written in, in there. I don't know if you can see. The copyright is 1941. And it has various stories, different stories. Different stories in here. So we'll see how well this does. That's the back. It's old. It's an old book. And it's a little bit loose, but it but it's still attached, but a little bit loose. But uh, it, it looks to be in good condition, considering the age. I found my very first refrigerator dish by uh, Anchor Hawking. <laughs> Lynn, she probably got tired of me today because I asked her a lot of questions learning. So I hope I go again with her and just keep, just keep learning from her. She knows... She seems to know her stuff. Anchor hawking there. And uh, and this I may keep for myself. If I change my mind later, then I'll sell it. Whew, I'm hot. I actually had a, a haul to do before this uh, that I need to get done from my trip. Uh, but I did this today. I was so excited, met a new friend, and we just had a good time. And so I thought, well, I'll get this done, and then maybe tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I'll do another haul. Anyway, this is a um, letter opener. That's it, letter opener. It has a little bit of weight to it. This is pretty pointy and sharp. It could be sharper if someone wanted it to. But it looks to be like a dragon. Does that look like a dragon to you guys? Look at that. I'm, I'm, I'll get better at this stuff, I promise. Got eyes down there. And it says Japan. I thought this looked pretty manly, so maybe someone out there in our group would like that. All right, I think the last thing, the last, oh no. Hold up. I have these. They're like uh, car table covers. They make me think of car table covers. I'm assuming they're big enough for that. But they're, here we go. They have this edging. Someone else is going to have to name that for me. Uh, I don't, I don't know. The zigzag lines. But it's in retro color. So how awesome is that? And I think I counted out six of these. I have six of these, you guys, six of these. How awesome is that? Now I'm gonna have, this one seems to be, this one seems to be in fairly good condition. There's a few that looks like they have coffee stains and I'm gonna soak them all. Uh, I'll soak them and then while they're wet, I'll pre-treat it and then I'll wash them and we'll see how they turn out. But yeah, I have six of those. They're very darling, very cute. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you, <laughs> I'm gonna put it on my head, but I'm hot in here. The sun is coming on this side of the house. I have this, this beautiful little knit cap. I'm assuming it's handmade. So I see no sticker tag. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm bad about this, but I'll let y'all judge if it's handmade. I'm assuming it's handmade. But what is so cute about it is the way the brim is. Now, it is small. The lady of this house was a small lady. Uh, petite. So, this would this fits me. I have a little itty-bitty, teeny-tiny, you know, bird head. I look, I look like a little bird with glasses. Anyways, I have a little bird head. And, uh, and this would fit me. Or maybe, uh, or like my granddaughters. Something like that. You know, someone like that. So, anyway, here's this. Here we go. But look how cute. Should I keep it for myself? I don't know. I look silly. I know I look silly. It doesn't matter what I do. But this is so cute. Alright. So, that's it for now. I'll probably do another video and, um... Hopefully this will get out there if I don't delete it. The last one I did, I deleted it. It was it was bad. All right, I'll see you in the live sales. And um, speaking of live sales, Heather and I, my daughter Heather, she's my partner. We're gonna do one. Our YouTube live sale. We're gonna do one Tuesday at noon. Oh goodness! I hope I remember that correctly. Tuesday at noon. Tuesday at 1, Tuesday at noon. Oh my gosh, I've gone blank. Well, I will announce... Whew, I'm getting hot. I will announce it again. And I'll probably do another haul video from my vacation tomorrow after I babysit. I got to babysit the grand, grandkids. And uh, so yeah, I'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed. Please uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you like. And um, suggestions of what I should... <laughs> what I should do or what I shouldn't do. I'm open. I've, I got to get better at this. All right. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye.